Now, from a governance perspective, right, there's always, especially when, when we talk, you were mentioning uh, smart cities, when we talk about stakeholders that do not belong to the same organization, there is, uh, I mean, there's a right balance, right, be, between, um, you know, very strict rules uh, and, and actually the ability to create the right incentive for people to share the data, right? Now, um, in the context of, of, of smart city, but, but, but also in data sharing uh, overall, right? There are well-known standards, um, you know, with regards to, to data sharing uh, that I have to say are not, you know, overbearing, right? But that, that kind of set, set the tone, set the checklist in terms of, right? If, if I'm gonna collect data with a view of sharing this data, there's a number of things that need to that need to be done, and there's a number of quality standards that need to be done, and there's a number of rules on whether or not I can indeed share this data, right? Um, and so that's kind of the minimum, right? Uh, I, I think I think it's really key. Um, and then there's the okay, how not to you know push the rules too far so that people are actually you know don't want to don't want to share anymore. And from a governance perspective as well, I think it's for me it's kind of a light touch governance so that um, you know you create a lot of like as much momentum as possible in uh, in the data sharing uh, exercise. So you know when I talk about light touch governance is. Uh, you know, as soon as you have overbearing committees, then you're going to kill it, right? Now, if it's light touch, simple rules that make sense, that can be supported and enforced, then I think then I think we have something that can uh, that can work without having horror stories uh, around you know sharing private data or this type of stuff.